So we've talked about this a little before, but I'm curious now, who actually pays for the date? Now, there are, of course, many, many perspectives, but what is it that makes you stand out a little bit extra? I have noticed that people, you know, I get it. If you're tight financially, you don't have the extra money, then don't go on a date that's going to be expensive. Don't add a whole lot to the date cost. Maybe you get one drink and you just get an appetizer type item. You don't need to get a lot, but you can also do a free date, take a walk, go do other things. But my question for you is just on the who pays in the sense of an understanding, because Let's just be honest, girls can hang out with their girlfriends and they will split the tab with them. They're not looking to go on a date with a guy that they have to split the tab with. Now, once you're in a relationship, you will define that differently. But if you are looking to stand out as somebody that is genuinely ready to be generous and giving and kind to a date, there's something special about someone taking the extra step, to taking the extra effort. I have definitely been on dates where I thought the other person was treating and then it was clearly not the case and they were not interested in being a, of generosity or actually making this more of a date. It kind of felt a little bait and switch and that's very, very confusing. And also there's a lot of generosity in just making time for another person and making time to connect with somebody. So I'm very curious on the level of paying for the date. Now, sometimes it could be something casual, like you're just meeting up with somebody new that you met, you both just get your, your drinks and you keep it separate, it's really easy. But what would it be like if you just treated anyways? Maybe it's $5, it's one little you know side drink or whatever, maybe it's 10. But if you put that little bit of extra effort, it's going to make a difference. But it's tricky because no matter what, as much as we love being strong and independent as women, we do like to know somebody thinks that we are worth the purchase of a drink or two. It's not about going overboard. It's about just investing a little extra, standing out from the girlfriend crowd and being the guy that says, hey, I just wanted to get to know you. I wanted to spend a little bit of time with you. So can I take you out for a drink? And that actually takes you out. I've had people ask me out and then they are clearly not even coming close, even after they said they would pay for it. So I'm just curious, what do you think about this? This is a tricky topic. I tend to hear more people thinking that the gentleman should pay. And I think that's why you should keep your first date pretty minor. It should be just a little like go get some bubble tea, go get some ice cream, do something small so that you can see if it's something in a relationship wise. So it's not really just about spending money. It's about standing out and not blending in with all the other people that that lady is being drawn to spend time with. You want to be the one that did the and then some. So comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about this. I know it's tricky because it's a lot of pressure on men to pay for all these different dates, but it's also part of the responsibility of the person asking somebody out to just keep the date really simple and light so that it isn't a burden on their financial budgeting to do that. So what do you think? Let's talk about this.